animating isn't easy. In this video, I will show you some tools I have been using this past year. I have been animating for a year now, so I share what I have learned in my ongoing journey. The tools are add-ons that you can install in Blender. They are mainly used for 2D and 3D animations. The Cursor Snapper add-on is a fantastic tool designed to help you with 3D grease pencil animations. This add-on allows you to easily snap your 3D cursor back to a previous grease pencil location, making your workflow more efficient and precise. No more manually repositioning the cursor, just snap it right back where you need it. This feature can save you time and help you create more accurate animations, especially when working on detailed projects. If you're into Grease Pencil, this add-on could be a game changer. This one is completely free, and I would suggest watching the tutorial by clicking on the link in bio. The next Blender add-on is one that makes adding realistic camera shake to your animation super easy. You can first focus on creating your camera movement, getting the perfect shot and timing for your scene. Once you're happy with that, simply add the Shakeify add-on later to introduce that natural dynamic shake effect. It's a great way to bring more life to your shots without having to manually tweak every little detail. Whether you're working on an action sequence or just want a more immersive feel, this add-on has you covered. The Sky Lab add-on, the ultimate tool for creating stunning, realistic skies and atmospheres in Blender. Skylab makes it incredibly easy to generate procedural clouds, fog, and lighting that will bring your 3D projects to life. With its user-friendly interface, you have complete control over every aspect of your sky. You can adjust cloud density and coverage, fine-tune colors, and tweak other atmospheric conditions to perfectly match the mood of your scene. Whether you're aiming for a bright sunny day or a moody foggy atmosphere, Skylab has everything you need to enhance your visuals. The Real Terrain Add-on for Blender. This add-on makes creating terrain landscapes a breeze with almost no effort required. Whether you're working on an environment scene or just need some realistic terrain, Real Terrain has you covered. With a lot of different terrain styles to choose from, you can easily generate diverse landscapes that fit your project perfectly. It's a powerful tool for anyone looking to add detailed terrain to their 3D environments in just a few clicks. The Buildings Generator Add-on. If you're looking to quickly create buildings for your city scenes, this add-on makes it super easy. With almost no effort, you can generate detailed buildings that fit seamlessly into your environment. Perfect for anyone working on cityscapes or urban projects, the Buildings Generator helps you populate your scene with realistic structures. I have a map put together full of sound effects that I use in my animations, non-profit in case you use the ones from games. These have been really useful as there are many choices and tunable afterward. Feel free to take a look by clicking on the link in bio. Storyliner, an incredible add-on for Blender that lets you draw your ideas, shoot your animation, and fine-tune your edit all directly in the 3D view. Whether you're an artist, director, or part of a studio, Storyliner helps you create stunning stories from storyboard to camera management and rendering. Starting with a scene containing action, you can create shots using new or existing cameras, define their time range, and arrange them in the order you want. The non-linear approach allows you to swap shots, shoot from different angles, or even have ellipses in your timeline. Once you're ready, turn on edit play mode and watch your edit play out in real time, right in the 3D view. This is the best add-on yet. I have bought the $70 version to have access to all the features and don't regret it. Just by making one animation of a couple of frames, I can make multiple scene that adds dynamic to my animation in less time as I don't have to draw a new scene to get the same effect. You can try the free version and I suggest watching the video in bio that explains all the functions. I hope that this video has helped you out a little. See you next time.